World Youth Day in Panama, the Pope and pilgrims attending will get to know one of the most historical cities in Latin America. However, the original city in Panama is not this one, but this one, around six miles away. It's called Old Panama. These ruins are the remains of the first European city on the Pacific coast of America. In 1670, the city experienced an attack by pirate Henry Morgan. What remained of the city was moved to the current Old Quarter, a 1997 UNESCO World Heritage Site. This is precisely where the Cathedral of St. Mary the Ancient stands. Its altar, after meticulous restoration, will be consecrated by the Pope. A few steps away, Pope Francis will also hold a meeting with the Central American bishops in this church, St. Francis of Assisi. Without leaving the old quarter, one can find the Palace of the Herons, where the Pope will be received by the country's authorities. From the historical part of the city to the most modern part is where World Youth Day will begin. It's known by various names such as Coastal Beltway or St. Mary the Ancient Field. It's here where the Pope's welcome ceremony will take place. It's also here that the Way of the Cross will be prayed. The Coastal Beltway is a big road on the coast next to the Bay of Panama. It is approximately two miles long and about 200 meters wide. This beltway is very beautiful and very historical because it is next to the Pacific Ocean. This is where evangelization took place in America. We hope to receive around 300,000 and 400,000 pilgrims there. The main events will take place in St. John Paul II's camp, Metro Park, nearly a full square mile. Young people will celebrate the vigil and the mass with the Pope. Pope Francis will also announce where the next World Youth Day will be celebrated from this place. The capital's advantage is that we have everything in the center, so you can move quickly. In about 20 or 30 minutes, you can reach the next event. Panama's World Youth Day is the first one to pay special attention to indigenous people, holding a meeting dedicated to them. In addition, the event will promote more respect for the environment. It's particularly important for this part of Panama, and it hosts a large number of protected species, both animals and plants. The great amount of volunteers is not just for World Youth Day. Being environmentally aware can't only be for World Youth Day. The ability to serve in houses that welcome the volunteers cannot just be for World Youth Day. Since one of the themes of the event is the encyclical Laudato Si, we have teams of young people being assigned to handle recyclable and non-recyclable waste to minimize pollution. They are called the Laudato Si Brigade. These young people help make World Youth Day a totally eco-sustainable event.